Hi, welcome. Let's discuss the medical management of mucus plugs in intubated patients. Now consider the following steps only in stable or minimally symptomatic patients. Uh, this includes patients that don't require high amounts of oxygen or increasing levels of sedation uh, to keep their breathing synchronous with the ventilator. Now in any of these patients that, that have what I've just sta stated, you may want to consider emergent bronchoscopy or a pulmonary consultation. Now the first steps you want to do is to stop the anticholinergics. So you don't want anticholinergics on board for many of these patients uh, as they tend to thicken secretions and make it harder to mobilize secretions. Um, the other, the, some of the classes of drugs under them are atrovent or apertropium, and the other one is robinol, also known as glycopyrrole. So you want to stop these medications as they tend to thicken secretions and make it harder to move the mucus plug. And if a patient is being diuresed as well, Try to avoid over diuresis as that may make the secretions even thicker and again harder to mobilize. The next things to consider are stopping uh, is uh, sedatives and anti-tussives uh, in patients, even analgesics. These all will uh, reduce the amount of cough or the, the strength of the cough reflex in patients. Um, if you want to stimulate cough as well, intratracheal suctioning works well. Now, in a lot of these patients, it's important to keep uh, the side of the mucus plug elevated. So the mucus plug side needs to be elevated um, throughout the day or as long as possible. Now, there may be nursing um, instructions to, uh, to uh, rotate the patient from side to side to avoid uh, pressure sores, but if possible, to keep the mucus side elevated with a wedge pillow for at least two to three times long, at least for a short term, um, to help uh, remove the mucus plug by utilizing the strength of gravity. The next thing you want to do is increase the PEEP. Now use this gradually as medically tolerated. Uh, the increase in PEEP may help open up plugged up airways through collateral airway connections known, known as the pores of corn or the canals of Lambert and this may be uh, of benefit to the patients. The next thing to consider is uh, nebulizer albuterol or nebulizer albuterol. Uh, use this in conjunction uh, with uh, bicarbonate and you can use about five, uh, 5 cc's of bicarbonate the usual strength that you get from your bicarbonate ampule or you can have the pharmacy mix one for you uh, mucomis or acetylcysteine as well as an option now hypertonic saline makes uh, theoretical sense and most of our, uh, our knowledge is based on hypertonic saline patients with uh, cystic fibrosis but it tends uh, to also help with uh, increasing the uh, or reducing the viscosity of the secretions help uh, and, and thus help mobilizing the mucus plug so you may want to consider this but always try to use albuterol first ahead and if you can't uh, use it together with a bicarbonate mucomist then consider using albuterol first followed by the bicarbonate mucomist now immediately after that it's important for us uh, to consider uh, trying to do manual chest percussions. Uh, now, manual chest percussions are, are extremely invaluable uh, in these patients as they tend to focus the agitation and try to dislodge the mucus plug in that area. So it's important for us to do the manual chest percussions and, and not so much with the uh, vibratory vests or the vibratory bed, which tend to be more of a spectacle than actually clinically useful. So immediately after using the nebulizer and, and, and in theory, uh, uh, reducing or breaking up some of the secretions is to then do the manual chest percussions in that area followed by uh, intratracheal suctioning. So do the tracheal suctioning right after to try to help mobilize or even agitate the patient to get them to cough a little bit more. The next step is uh, if that doesn't work is to cons have RT actually use a mini bowel catheter. Now most of us will develop most patients will develop uh, a mucus plug in the lower airways, uh, the lower zones of the lobe on the right or the left side. And a mini bell catheter is, is a blind catheter. Um, if your hospital has it, uh, the RT or the respiratory technician can pretty reliably get the catheter down one side of the lung or the other. Again, I think you may be a little bit more successful if it's on the right side compared to the left. Now what you want to do is instill bicarbonate, again the uh, same concentration is used for the bicarbonate ampules uh, and instill about 10 to 15 cc's uh, in that side of the, the side of the mucus plug. Now let, let, it, uh, let it marinate for about 10 to 15 minutes as well and what you want to do during this time is actually keep the mucus plug side down and not up like you normally want to. So you want to keep the bicarbonate concentrated in that area and hoping to break down some of the secretions. Now immediately after that, raise this side up, perform manual chest percussions in that area followed by nasotracheal suctioning. Now this will help loosen some of the secretions and hopefully unplug the mucus plug. 
Now, if that all doesn't work, then it's back to the drawing board, and I suggest you call your friendly pulmonologist uh, to perform a bronchoscopy. Thank you.